Speak. So I know you're not a musical theatre kid. Why? You didn't get that reference. What? Speak. What's that? It's a voicemail in Rent, the musical. Okay. I've seen it. Speak. Ooh. I thought it was about to get your boobs out <laughs> again. Before the cameras was on, she pulled her boobs out. Thanks, I'll do it now. Testing <laughs> <laughs> that, you know. Um, welcome. What are you doing? I'm filling it up. Oh. <laughs> welcome to Chat Box episode, whatever it is. I actually genuinely have forgotten count. And welcome back to the show, Miss. I, 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 I keep wanting to say my your name's Kyra I know but I keep wanting to say your surname because I call you that all the time yeah. but maybe you don't really want to keep putting your name no. out like that so you're just Kyra yeah just Kyra just Kyra and Kyra mm. yeah I like it like that alright cool so r- feedback feedback from well f- my feedback yeah um well I was saying that when I watched parts of it I was just cringing because did you watch I'm, all of it um, I watched some of it, but the bits I couldn't watch is because I was cringing at myself. Because you chat too much. Because I'm so political <laughs> and angry, which I don't have a problem with. Mm-hmm. But be- I think because you're not, I'm it sure. make it like makes me seem worse than I am. Whereas I if am. I'm with my friends, then maybe they'd be like, you're all just amping rah, 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 with rah, me rah. together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put the mic closer to your face. Imagine it's you- close. No, but like, imagine you want to talk into the mic. You can't get any closer. You can, because yours was like over here. There you go. <laughs> it was invasive. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a like podcast. It. Okay. Um, but I don't know if you noticed. Mm-hmm. Congratulations for being the number one video that we've put out. I just had to hold myself back from doing gun fingers. Most views. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done. You surpassed Tay. When Tay appeared on the show, mm-hmm. he was at all time high, mm-hmm. and you've cleared him. Sick. So your political behaviour. It could be because you said so. You cheated on me on the thing, and everyone's Maybe. looking for it, which was which we um we have got to the bottom of. Yeah, big up Nadia. <laughs> got to the bottom. My, my of. alibi. <laughs> it was his Nadia. Fem- his female she friend. Saw the, she saw the video and she said, "I said, went to the carnival with you." I was right. like, "Oh yeah, right." So okay. I'm an honest guy. I'm not a cheater. Anyway. Anyway. Do you want to go into the comments? Okay. They're going to be a lot about you this week. Okay. Um, I had a particular... I had one that I particularly liked. Oh. Rotate, Ooh. rotate, rotate. Oh, uh. Uh. Um, I had one that I particularly liked. Mm. Have you read them all? Have you gone through all the comments? Yeah, I looked yeah. at a few of them Sorry, you've yesterday. I said, so I've done it. I've done it. One that has 11 likes is... Finally, we have someone who knows what they're talking about. You think you know what you're half, talking about. Half of the stuff was going over Bailey's bald patches. Oh. <laughs> you're lucky to have her. I don't have bald patches <laughs> at all. <laughs> Which I thought was quite funny. You do talk a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and I am listening. Mm-hmm. But it's hard to hear it all. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I miss the important parts. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and do you know what Kyra does as well at the end when she does this? Like she'll be talking to me for ages, and then she'll be like, "Are you listening?" And I'm like, "Yeah." She'll be like, "Tell me what I just said." Then that is the hardest thing to do. You, but you should be able to summarize. Tell me what I just said. Then you said that sometimes I'll be listening to you and I won't remember everything. And then this the hardest thing is she says, "Oh, tell me what I've just said," yeah. and I can't do it. Now imagine I was talking to you about fucking Henry VIII and his fucking seven wives, and then I said, "Tell me what I just said." That's asking me to remember history. Yeah. But yeah. Um, get Kyra a seat. She needs to be on here more often. Mm. Oh, this one's gonna make me um blush. Mm. All I'm saying is Bailey is defo punchy with this one. She's beautiful, she reads, she's eloquent, yeah. she's going passionate about the things she does. Nah, Bailey, that ain't art and candy, that's a masterpiece. Yeah. See what I don't want, yeah? Don't let all this get too much to you. <laughs> right? uh, I'm also going to bring up the comments because I feel like Kyra's looking for ball patch comments. I'm not. And there might be something in there, but I'm um, not. That like you just go past. Um, well, I'm just like not reading out every single one of them. Yeah. I love watching you and Bailey have different views. Somebody said, I don't know if it was on there or Instagram, yeah, mm-hmm. something about 
you're the complete opposite of me mm. or something it like said that. something like this is what opposites attract or something there's been moments in our in our relationship mm-hmm. where you're like oh i'm just like we're not alike mm-hmm. in it and you say it as if like that could be a bad thing mm. and then i've told you i wouldn't like a version of me mm-hmm. a female version of me mm. you are the opposite mm. you are the yin to my yang mm. you are the brains it's to funny my though because i feel like we are opposite sometimes but i feel like we have overlapping similarities and i feel like actually sometimes our similarities annoy each other rather than like we're both messy mm. but you think you're not i don't think i'm not messy i just think i tidy up after myself better having been messy mm, but we're both messy we can agree okay we're both slobs i'm not a slob we are both slobs. i'm not a slob please slobs. don't put that out there because i'm not a slob <laughs> I'm not a slob, so I okay. completely rebuke that. I'm no, definitely cool, not a slob. Cool, That's cool, disgusting. Cool, cool. All right. What's a slob? It's a slob. It's offended you. A slob is like a slob. I'm definitely not a slob. Okay, cool. You're not a slob. I don't like you putting it out there as if I can't keep a house. I never said any of this. You just called me a slob. I never said any of that. You just said I'm a slob. That's the only thing I said. Anyway, back to the comments. You're trying to be antagonistic. Um... It was lovely to see you on here, Kyra. Look forward to another one. Enjoyed the topics on this. Thank you. Listening on my allotment plot. That's cool. That is actually sick. That's We've got an cool. allotment out there. Don't tell everyone where the house is. Everyone who watches YouTube or God. my YouTube knows where I live. Do you know I went somewhere the other day? And out of nowhere, someone just goes, Oh, hey, Bailey, what are you doing here? And I was like, huh? And he started telling me where I live. Everything based off my YouTube. Everything. Told me what road I lived on. Do you remember when you had a stalker? That woman. Yeah. Should we try and rile her up like baby reindeer? <laughs> Should we try and draw her out? <laughs> no, because that was actually, like, as much as I was joking about it, I've seen a lot of things where those things go left mm. and all of those details were ignored early. Mm, that Yeah, but that was, that was extreme. Very extreme. That was extreme. Like, s- like scrolling, 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 scrolling. I mean, like you could be scrolling for 10 minutes of the messages, conversations of herself. It, that was literally like the London baby reindeer. What's baby reindeer? Baby reindeer. Oh my God. I can't with this guy. Baby reindeer is like the biggest series that has come out this year. Mm. You didn't watch it because I watched it on my own. Yeah. So but then, so what's ha- was it on Netflix? Yeah. So you've watched it on your own. Mm-hmm. Therefore, it's no longer on your, would you like to watch this list? So that's why I but didn't But it's watch like it. been everywhere Reese. like i mean like literally every single person watched it and it's like been all over it piers morgan interviewed the stalker that's how big it got i think i saw her i don't I, I definitely haven't seen the series but i think i've seen what you're yeah. talking about now you're saying it yeah so what is she uh it was a, it's a true story it actually was before it was a series it was a show at edinburgh fringe and the guy um worked in a bar and one one day the woman came in she was like a fat Scottish woman, and um, Scottish, 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 and she. He basically ended up giving her a drink, but she would come in all the time, like on like certain days, and she would like speak to him about mm. like how she was this high powered lawyer and all of this stuff, and she. He kind of felt sorry for her because he was like, "How comes you're such a high powered lawyer, but you can't afford a coke, right?" And. Um, so he started to feel sorry for her and anyway she then became a massive stalker and started to ruin his life Um, and it's all a true story and then but there's also lots of other like really important themes throughout it so like there's like male sexual assault in it um, like basically trying to get famous as an actor or a writer and like how you could put yourself in dangerous situations and then also like the whole thing of why is she doing this like she's clearly like he starts to feel sorry for her and then he almost sips slips into his own mental health battle and then starts to like s- sympathize with her so much that he almost becomes obsessed with her being obsessed with him mm. um and then there's a lot of themes about sexuality and stuff like that in it but it's really good very hard hitting but was that one of the most controversial things so how did things? she this stalker yeah end up on Piers Morgan because when it all happened, obviously this this went like crazy, like the number one on Netflix and you know, a really big and I thing. Didn't see it. And you didn't see it. I, I literally don't know how you did. Yeah, but I don't know how you didn't see it. It was there. And I was talking to you about it. And this is what I mean about you not listening. So I was literally talking to you about it as I was watching it. Mm. 
Um, but then every like he came out and everyone was like trying to find her because she would send him tweets like, um, nice buttocks <laughs> like, on Twitter and like my baby reindeer and things like this. So they went all the way back in his Twitter and found her. So then the internet are trying to expose her and he tried to cover it up and said, oh, the person in this was completely not at all like the original person. Turns out that the actress was to a T exactly this woman. But yeah, I digress. The whole point was that you had- Might have been her. <laughs> it wasn't because we saw the picture. Do you remember when yeah. I saw the picture of her? That made it. That's that when was it was scary. Like, was that scary because she was like a quite a big woman. Well, no, it glasses. wasn't that. It was more it was the fact a, that she was sky. like full. It looked like she was drunk and all her makeup was all like smeared, and she yeah. was on the floor like. Ugh. Do you remember her name? <sighs> no. I hope she's alright. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing is I do think that like you can see why people get into these like obsessions and whatever super scary but it also is really sad mm. so that was number one on netflix yeah it's like one of the biggest series is this year series series is series series is no 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 cairo i know oh you know yeah i know you always say this but no no I, no no. do you know that's you're I wrong i stand by the do you know that you're wrong though? Is... but you do know that you're wrong in saying it i just need to know for, for myself <laughs> i know that potentially wide scale i'm wrong no 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 no. but i think i'm right i think everyone else is wrong in this world <laughs> you're I'm wrong right it's multiple series exactly so should i say um series it was one of the biggest what's your favorite series biggest multiple i watched 10 series this weekend but you didn't watch 10 series you watched 10 series is series you watch multiple series so therefore if it's got s is it series is or is it i watched i watched comments siri help me or help her, like octopus help octopi so then in so is it siri i watched bear siri but then. until someone confirms that for me i'm going to continue to say your google and find out you're quick yeah, to, you're, you're quick google. to google anything else bailey is a true aquarius lol I know why he chose her. He needs someone intelligent because he's cerebral himself. Cere cerebral. I can't say that word. Oh, that's cerebral. embarrassing. Cerebral himself. That's an embarrassing misintelligence. <sighs> do, you uh, know, do you even know what that means? Um, no, so stupid. shut up. Um, Idiot. Oh, big up. Um, I don't know what your name is. So 106, so fun. You're always so a, fun. a loyal um, commenter He's and follower, but you've already got tickets for the next says, so... Oh, Thank speaking you. of, do a shout out. Um, on the 10th of September, pew, 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 pew. I'm running a spoken word and poetry night in Stockwell. It's called Says Events. Um, if you're into poetry, come along. If you like writing in any concept, in any way. Wait, then... can I pause you there? Mm -hmm. Don't have to be into poetry. I was about to because say that. Because the two people that come, mm -hmm. including Sufan, mm -hmm. didn't give a damn about poetry. Mm -hmm. And if it, before he came to the last time, if you said you like poetry, he would have probably laughed and spat at you. Mm -hmm. But after coming once, he's already bought his tickets, tickets to the next one. Exactly. So, so there's something there for everyone. Like, I feel like if you think like poetry is just like, I don't know, Robert Burns and Shakespeare, it's not just that. Like, there's a lot of people, young people, people of all ages, races, like types of people there. It's a really diverse community. And we have um this guy who's gonna be there he does all the videography and i do all the hosting and, and Leo leo's the on the dj and doing up what is it what's the other one not that one what's the oh, one that's like oh, oh, oh. i can't do that noise oh, that one. <laughs> and there's another one that's like stop it stop it stop it yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so man, he's doing up tickets. the sound effects get your tickets it's in south london so come through um, Come get and there's food as well. Good food, yeah. yeah good Caribbean food. Didn't promote foods, that last time. Good Caribbean foods, good cocktails, rum, um, and yeah, good vibes, good people. Come through. Definitely. Get yeah. tickets, and if you want to get tickets, then go to Says Events. That's it. S A Y S Events. I'm just going to put a link in the description. Okay, on the link. Mm. Like that. So yeah, wel that. welcome to YouTube. Or like that. No, 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 no. It's or just like going to be in the description. That. Or like that. <laughs> <laughs> so cool yeah says events make sure you're there now this is a comment I wanted to read out 
because I I'm proud of myself for this one. Is it your comment? Nah, you haven't lost your hair. You've gained scalp. One to zero. That's undefeated. <laughs> That was a good one, though. Also, there is a lot of people that are spelling my name wrong, which I don't mind because the captions spell my name wrong naturally. And I've spent my entire life getting my name spelled wrong, which so I'm I'm not bothered, by the way, guys. I'm not complaining about it. But if you do want to know how to spell it, because I don't think I've seen it correctly, it is K-A-I-K-R-A-R-A. Kira. Often mistaken for Kira. 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 Kiara. Kira. Kira. Yeah. Kira grates you more than anything. Kira only annoys me because I'm just like, it's clearly not that. And your old te- your old HR department. Kira. Yeah, she was Scottish as well. She was literally like baby reindeer. Um, beautiful couple. Takes two. Everyone wants to know who did Bailey go carnival with. We've already addressed that. Nadia. What else? Oh, I liked this one because you know what? Honesty, and I and I get it because I would have turned me off as well. Can't lie, I turned it off. <laughs> turned what off? As in the podcast. Who said that? <laughs> but started again, and the therapy side, she was good still. Was like rah, the talking and prob- problem solving was mad, right? I need to change small things to improve. So I actually really appreciate your honesty because you said you turned it off and then you came back to it. Fuck and that then, person. No, that's a really good thing because what that showed is that Sorry. they turned it off and then they came back and then they got some value from it. So I rate that. Oh, you were one. honest. I, I wasn't listening, I was reading. Oh, okay. Um, another interesting one. If Trump is saying he's going to ban abortion and he wins, that that means the people want to ban abortion. That is democracy. Not really, <laughs> not really, because you can vote somebody into power without actually having much knowledge of what they're about. Mm-hmm. Well. I think a lot of people do before you say well. Yes. yes. When I, I didn't vote, yeah. when we're not talking about Trump, we're talking about in our mm-hmm. country, mm-hmm. I didn't vote. Mm-hmm. But when I was thinking about voting, the amount of people I asked, who are you voting for? What is their policy? They had no idea. No one had any idea. They knew, the they knew who they was voting I mean, for, Brexit. but they didn't know their policy. Brexit. So <laughs> I stayed ignorant. I remained dumb Brexit. and ignorant. But a lot of people are claiming to know what they're doing and they don't. Do you know what, Fountain? I just need to say this one thing about Brexit. I don't know oh. if people are going to slate me in the comments for this year. Because I understand why people feel like, you know, our country, our country, whatever. However... What is so mad about it is I remember speaking to people about Brexit at the time. And I was like, so do you want to like leave or remain? Like you said, they don't know what they're talking about. And they're like, yeah, well, I want to um, I want to leave because I want to stop all of the illegal. Because if we leave, it stops all of the illegal immigrants coming across in boats. Just think about that very carefully. <laughs> illegal immigrants. Mm. Are you are you are you are you um, emphasizing the word illegal? Yeah, because I'm just saying you if you like if if they're not they're not legal to come over now, mm. they're always going to be illegal. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? I don't get it. So like if you've got people that are like risking their lives to come over in boats, a I think we should all <laughs> oh like literally in a boat. You mean yeah, like, like that's not just a like in a dinghy boat. trying to get okay, across cool. the channel, like. And A, my actual general stance on this is if that if people are willing to risk their children's lives, what they're coming from is of, is obviously so fucking horrible that we should be taking these people, we should be allowing them to take refuge. However, what makes me laugh is people are like, yeah, if we leave, then that will stop all the illegal immigrants. It might, it might, it might halt, or it might change our legal immigration system. Mm. You're not going to stop illegal immigrants. That's the stupidest thing you can ever say. Plus, isn't like Britain built off of immigrants? Literally, if every single immig- immigrant per- person who's from like first or second immigrant family was to, or migrant family was to leave right now, there would be no healthcare, there'd be no services, there'd be so much limitation to our country. Like it's a joke and even if you want to go back historically who even really is british you know mm. like it actually is you know we go back to anglo-saxons and vikings and da, 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 da. Mm, yeah. but the thing Anglo-Saxon. that i saw <laughs> the thing i saw the other day which i thought was really funny was someone said um 
Oh, you've just thrown me off. No, I've forgotten it. What? I'm laughing at the beginning of this when you was like, oh, I'm too political. It was like, I can, um, I, I can feel that as you're talking about politics, you're like trying to slow yourself or like not go too far. <laughs> Someone said, I thought she's mad smart and knows funny little facts, but I felt like I was watching a BBC doc. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> BBC, employ me. I really don't care. All right, um, one more comment. All right. Don't make it a political one. All I'm saying is that ba- Bailey is defo punching with this one. <laughs> and that's the one you pick. Yeah. Do you think I'm punching? I think we're quite equally yoked. Yeah. Mm. What's your favourite thing about me? Is this what we're doing? I just thought I'd throw it in there. Uh, my favourite thing about you. Physical or non-physical? Favourite thing. <laughs> um... Is that my mum? No. Nice. Exo, get him on here. Get him on here. <laughs> get answer that phone right now. Hello. <laughs> hey, What's up, Lex? I'm, hey, I'm just in. I got. Don't, don't preface it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm on the I'm podcast with Kyra, and you've called. Superman, no, here. <laughs> I saw his gifts on there. <laughs> yeah. We're saying. All right, cool, cool. See, look, he was about to spill some more tea. Yeah. And then he was like, oh, no, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, for anyone that doesn't understand, Exo was who we were saying that like, Reese went to Carnival with last time. So. I've been to a Carnival with He's the witness. Yeah, exactly. Done the carnival loads, stuff. Loads of times with EXO, zero times with me. We've established. Yeah. Okay. Um, my favourite bit about you. My favourite thing about you is I'm going to say your, which sounds like such a lame answer, so that's why I was trying to take a, a minute to think about it. But I think my favourite thing about you is probably your um, your sense of humour. Like you, I would say one great thing about a relationship is you always find like you do make me laugh like barely laugh a lot mm. and um you're just silly i just like your goofiness and your silliness right, stop at that stop. it's like you're, i like your goofiness right, yeah, yeah. i like when you do goofy things stop saying goofy it's goofy though no okay i, I like everything <laughs> you're saying now you're just silliness keep, is silliness keep throwing better. in this goofy word it's silliness better. last week you're talking about one side of your face is sharp <laughs> the other side's goofy it's silliness better no, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I get it. I know what you're talking about. I'm hilarious. For me, mm-hmm. my favourite about you is your bum. Okay. Which is a physical. Yeah. But it's good. It's, it's com- not good. It's a compliment. Yeah, but that's like, you could think of something that's not physical. But to say you've got a nice bum is good. Okay, so what if I'm like, okay, my favourite thing about you is your toes. I, I would not be surprised. I'm quite shocked it wasn't up there, actually. You've got very nice feet. Okay. And your intelligence. Whatever. You don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. So go on. Like you said to me, you're going to come on here with your... Um... I think it's a bit late to introduce a theme now. We've been talking for like 10 minutes. No, that's fine. 20 minutes. That's fine. What was your... Um... You had something you wanted to do. I wanted to do a whole episode, a right. throwback episode. Back to school. Back to the 90s or whatever. I wanted to do a throwback episode. It's a segment. It's not a whole episode. Okay. It's a segment. I wanted to take over the episode. Yeah, you wanted to take Welcome over the entire to the structure new of this show. Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted to come in and change everything. Yes. So let's do your I also, segment. if you notice, I'm trying to turn this way because I feel like this is my better side. And I did not think about what I was wearing today with this horrible angle. My thigh is being in the focus. It's just. Are you actually not turn away, so face me. Yeah, because I don't like this angle. Sorry, no one cares about me complaining. Oh, yeah, no okay. One cares. So my idea was to do a um, throwback episode mm. and basically where we talk about nostalgia, things that are nostalgic. To me and you. To us, yeah. And then hopefully other people will listen and will be like, oh my God, I remember that. Or they'll remind us of stuff. As so let's well. just do it rather than explain. This it. is my preface. This is me oh. like setting it up, okay. getting us in the mode. So I'm going to take you back mm. into a mode. I want you to go back. And bear in mind, yeah, 
we already clarified this, me and Reese are not of the same generation. Yeah, we're not. So there might be difference. But I, I'm going to take you back. Yeah. It's 1999. Yeah. Roughly. Okay, it's 1999. And you or are 10. sitting in a squeaky blue blow up chair. Didn't have it. Okay. Or a bean bag. So something cool. like that. And if you're a girl around the room, maybe you've got, you know, like the borders on the wallpaper, groovy chick. I think you're explaining your life. Yeah, no, but I'm just setting the tone. We all did that. I'm just setting the tone. Right, go, 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 they go, might go. not, they might only remember one of these things, yeah, right. but they have it. And you have just finished a packet of Golden Wonder Crisps. It's always been Walkers for me. And Lilt. And you are about to, you've, you come home from school, it's summer, but like, it's kind of like still before global warming was really kicking off, so it's still kind of cold. And you're sitting there, and then you're like, I'm gonna switch the telly on, and what comes on is my parents are aliens. Never seen it. What? Never seen it. Such a big build up. What? I've never seen it. <laughs> I need to show it to you. Please, can I just My show it My parents are aliens. My parents are aliens. Go on. Early 2000s, yeah, they just had like. This fly is going to get it. Go on. They just had like. Like top tier. What channel did this Like real come on? people programs. Do you get what I mean? What channel was they this? They weren't on? cartoons. Oh my god, it came up straight away. Did you not notice face. I've asked her the same question three what times? What channel? I've got no and idea. Instead of answering it, she's just said something completely different. I've got no idea what it was. What are you telling me? You don't remember this? CITV, by the way. I've never seen this. this is, do you know life. the other one that you don't remember? And I'm going to play the theme tune because I still can't believe you. I know you don't remember this one, yeah? This was CBBC. This was 2003. Let me see. Mm -hmm. To the sound of the root boys. Never heard of it again. Just... Again. But I feel like I feel like obviously like you're five years younger than me mm. and we also have completely different tastes. Mm. So I reckon there's so much stuff that I watched. I feel like you watch more American stuff like Moesha and... Um, no, that was Carly. That's so Raven and that's Carly. Also. Shout out Lizzie McGuire. Carly. Okay. All right, give me one of your yeah, programs. All, all of the stuff you just described are the things that I would have been fighting my sister. Not to watch. For the remote to watch what I want to watch. Let me guess. Go on. Power Rangers. Of course I watch Power Rangers. Ninja Turtles. Of course I watch Ninja Turtles. Okay. But I can't put a time or what age I was. Yeah, but you were under 12, surely. Under 12. Like, I remember I used to be obsessed with Cartoon Network, mm -hmm. Disney, and Nickelodeon. Okay, name your favourite Cartoon Network. I can't name, I don't, come I can't, on, I can't give you a favourite. I can give you some tops. Okay. And they're dumb ones as well that you, you probably didn't even watch. Like, um... I know what mine was. Did you used to watch Cat Dog? Yeah, but it wasn't my favourite. Not my favourite, but it's up there. I would turn there. it off when Cat Dog Did came you used on. to watch Ed, Ed and Eddie? Ed, Ed and Eddie was the best. And you used to watch Ed, 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 Ed and Eddie? Ed, Ed and Eddie. Eddie. Dun, 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 did you used to watch Top Cat? Yeah, Top Cat. Uh, Do you remember when Top Cat did a couple of collaboration with Frankie and Benny's? No. Okay. Well, well as in Frankie and Benny's ice cream? No, that's... Jerry... No, that's... Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's. Frankie and Benny's is the shop... Is the... Um, restaurant oh yeah, yeah 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 no i don't remember that um and my one of my top top favorite i did used to like johnny bravo yep um but i my fave was um powerpuff girls i used to watch that as well powerpuff girls was sick i actually used to watch powerpuff yeah. girls they were really but you know good. What, i think my i don't know if it was my favorite but it's screaming like if i if i was watching this at home i'd mm -hmm. be screaming like you better say it dexter's mm. laboratory oh didi <laughs> That was a classic. Well, there was doom and gloom <laughs> where things go boom. Such a good one. Definitely used to watch all that. Um, but I was just going to say quickly about the Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. Is that I think, you know, we did a Halloween party last year. I think I'm going to go as the Powerpuff Girls with Courtney and Claudia this year. Mm -hmm. I used to really want to be the green one because she's the moody one. Yeah, you are a green one. But I think out of the three of us, I think I'm actually the, um, the, no, red, the, the pink one. one. The red the one. one. No, out of the three of us, of me, Courtney course. and Claudia. Who's 
the moody one out of you three then? Uh, it would be Claude. <laughs> she's she's the sassy one and then Courtney is definitely the ditzy one and then I think by default I end up being the organiser one in the middle did you used to watch Art Attack? yes turns out he's a paedophile turns out you were in it what? <laughs> what? oh <laughs> that's 2-0 they don't even know what you're talking about insert picture yeah, now 2-0 do the face 2-0 I don't know the do face. the face I don't know the fucking do the music do the music <laughs> <laughs> do this right. yeah Kyra said that I look like the statue from the head heart attack <laughs> which is a big insult it's a big accuracy <laughs> <laughs> um yeah uh, what who's a pedophile turns out yeah no Neil is it Neil whatever his name was bless those kids on the show do you think he was what it actually was where did you get this from Look, this is Chatterbox, yeah. <laughs> exactly. We speak with our chest and we Everyone, let them correct us. You check your facts. Check my I'll facts for that. me. But I was told that he turned out he was a... Okay. A little bit naughty. No, it's a bit more than a bit naughty. That's what he done. Well, I don't know. Like Now you're asking me questions and stuff. I'm having to actually... All right, think back to the theme. Back to the theme. Uh, So another throwback. Another throwback. Wait, of but that ones. was just one channel I watched. Yeah. Around this time, I've also got Nickelodeon. I was not a Nickelodeon kid. I don't and think we had it. How did you not have Nickelodeon? That's why. That's why there's a lot of my humour you don't get. Is it? Did we have Nickelodeon? I had definitely had Cartoon Network. So, and you never used to watch My Wife and Kids. Uh, I did, but not as oh. religiously as you did. How did you watch it then? I don't know, but I've definitely. Well, I definitely used to watch it. Maybe we did have Nickelodeon. You must have. What was the package? What do you mean? Like you had Freeview and then you had like Sky. I struggle with this because yeah. I tried to figure this out the other day. We used to have, it used to be a black box. Mm. Yeah. What, not Nothing illegal. It was a cable box, mm. whatever. And the remote control. So it was cable. So but cable. I can remember the channels. 22 and 23 was Nickelodeon and, and Cartoon Network. Right. And 44 was Disney. Mm. So if somebody can take that information and tell me what it was, cause I don't know. Do you know what's jokes? I tried to find it. I'm sure it was cable. I'm sure that was just cable. Yeah, I think it must have been cable. It wasn't Sky. We didn't have Sky. Cable sounds like a miracle band. We I had think cable. But you know what's jokes is that I was at my mum's and we had cable. And then I'm pretty sure I remember us getting like the like Skybox one or whatever it was. Mm. And then I moved to my nan's house when I was 11. And my nan had four channels. I'm not even joking you. <laughs> one, two, three, and four. <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, what? Like, I'm sure that's what it was like at my nan's house because I yeah. used to spend a lot of time after school. I used to, go, my nursery, for example, at my, my sc what's your school when you like go from nursery? Primary. Pr my primary mm. school was in Phipps next to my nan's house. Mm. So I used to go there after school every day and there was five channels. But that didn't stop didn't me watching five. Tots TV. Tots TV. And what, was, what was the one? Rosie and Jim. No, that's Rosie wrong. Rosie and Jim. Yeah, that's a different one. Riding along on the old, old rag doll. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you and yeah. And what's that what's the thing that makes you laugh so much that scene? Pingu. Oh no, Carly. Carly no, Carly dies at one scene from Rosie and Jim. Oh, there's so many she's of like, them. She's like, I'm a tree, I'm a tree, I'm a tree. <laughs> there's so many of them. <laughs> there was Rosie something I used to watch though at my nan's house that I used to dream to be on. And it was like your school versus another school. 50-50. 50-50. 50-50. Yes. And they drive shit. the go-karts at the end. Yes. That was yeah. elite. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember wishing mm -hmm. that we could get onto this show. Mm -hmm. Same as... Um, dun, 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 dun. No, that's Funhouse. That's another that. show. <laughs> Funhouse. I don't remember Funhouse. Oh, you want to start showing videos? Yeah, Funhouse sounds like it was... How did you not watch Funhouse? Funhouse. I wasn't born. <laughs> I don't think I was born there. Oh my gosh. You need to see this. Is it, was it like a house? Oh wait, I've got a vague memory before you show it to me. Was it a house and you could see all the rooms in the house? What? Like you, like from the set, it was like a, like a two up, two down house and you could see the house and everyone running around it and stuff. Nah, 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 oh, nah. What was that's that a, then? That's a fair ride. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no look at it. I definitely didn't watch this. I wasn't born. No. Look. No, this no. was the one I was talking about with the go-karts and the slime. No. Yeah, what are you talking about then? 
Yeah. I'm talking about 50 50. Look how fucking fun that looks. It's just fun house. Oh, I wish I was. Look, this is what I was talking about with the schools. What was you talking about? 50 50. Mm, I weren't talking about 50 50. What's 50 50? It was two schools versus each other. You can even tell that this is later. Listen to the music. It's a blank screen. Oh. Modern. You can tell that this is more. This is not my as fun time. as Fun House. Sorry, just to clarify, everyone, I was gassed up about Fun House, not okay. 50-50. Two of the same ilk. Get your own back. Yes. That was good. Um, That's on your parents, isn't it? Yeah. Or your siblings or teachers, whoever, and you get yeah. to gunge them. Yeah. And Jungle if you Run. Win. Jungle Run. Jungle Run. Jungle Run was a good one. No. Let me know if you remember Jungle Run. And um, oh. Oh, I had another good one in there. Okay, this is not of the same type of thing, but it was a reality show um, of like the, I'm going to say like, I've got a couple actually that are like late 90s, early 2000s that were really good. Mm. Supermarket Sweep. I just spat so much because I was so excited to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Supermarket. <laughs> supermarket Sweep. Yeah, I used to watch that. That was, I used to really, yeah, I used to really want to do that. Yeah, I don't think this was like a regular thing for me. I used to watch that. I see it. Um, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune was banging. Um, they brought it back, but catchphrase. Okay, so now you're you're kind of saying things that maybe my mum or Nana These was were so good. These yeah, were really I'm good programs. Putting, I'm not putting catchphrase on. What? I used to put catchphrase on. Yeah, but you're an old woman. <laughs> From time. <laughs> From time. You've been a little old woman. Catchphrase was banging. Okay, and also you've got some like um, American ones, which are a bit nostalgic, like um, Keenan and Kel was my favourite. Would you say that's American? Of course it was American, American, isn't it? <laughs> Complete. I used to watch Keenan and Kel religiously. Yeah, yeah. and you know they had, their sister was called Kyra. No, I didn't know they had one. Mm. She never even got a shout out. Was she ever on the show? Yeah. Well, she was on the show. Yeah, she was like a little girl. No, I it? forgot. I'm just kind of. I, I I used to watch Keenan and Kel religiously, but I cannot. Other than like the the little things that you will remember, like. Orange soda. Orange soda. Do you remember, remember the screw in the tuna episode? I put the screw in the tuna. Yeah, oh, of course. <laughs> of course. I'm hope, like I think our audience, yeah. Yeah. Is I actually can look at it. Our average age mm-hmm. following on here is eleven percent eighteen to twenty four. Yeah. Fifty seven percent twenty five to thirty four. Mm-hmm. Uh, twenty eight percent thirty five to forty four, mm-hmm. and then three point five percent of Leo's age are forty five to forty four. OAPs, joking. <laughs> it's three point five of you out there. So, a lot of people, well, not really, should have been around this era, and mm-hmm. a lot of you are going to be at home like, what the hell are you lot chatting about? Mm, well, the other day, I, my little sister is thirteen, and she just got into Eminem. She just turned 13. Well, that wasn't what I was going to say yet. Don't you think this is weird that my little sister's favourite artist is Eminem and she's 13? Not even new Eminem. She's uh, she's Yeah, but it would be weirder if it was new Eminem because new Eminem shit. She's listening to Stan. <laughs> yeah, she like loves the Marshall Mathers album. I even told her the other day about D12 mm. as well. Now she's into D12. Yeah, and then she's like, oh my God, he was in a band. I was like, yeah. And he, she's got a poster of Eminem, like the original, you know, like him in front of the, the lines. And he's like, like that she's got the original Eminem poster in her room I took her to Camden and she saw that and she was gassed is there anyone is there any artist out there that you're a huge fan of now mm-hmm. that is not of your era and don't even make music anymore but you still bang their music or you would say like you'd have a poster of them on your wall because like um, I'm thinking she's not he's not your era but he is a legend he's an so icon it's, it's the same way like someone now being a fan of Michael Jackson and he's not around I suppose yeah yeah I suppose the only people that I think are like that, but they were still within my era. Like I will, I will like listen to Dr. Dre, like the 2001 album, but I was, mm. I was, I was alive. So I was a child and my mum would play it a lot. Mm. So it's a bit different. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So I have that back to nostalgia. It's nostalgic feelings that I have towards that time period of like hip hop and that sort of stuff. But that does come from my mum. Mm. Um, but I can't think of anyone. Oh, I don't know that. Like, there's loads of songs that I think are never gonna die. Like, you know, 
things like um, Earth, Wind and Fire. How's that go? That's a band. Oh. You know, do you remember the 21st day of September? Yeah, I know this song. Yeah. Uh, That's by who? Earth, Wind and Fire? Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Making me doubt it now. I don't know. Um, but yeah, like there's like legends you think, or like some Luther Vandross or Marvin Gaye. Like there's people that have like certain songs which I don't think will ever die. And of course, Michael Jackson separating the man from the musician. Um, what does that mean? Separating the man from the musician. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, he's like probably one of the only people that I can do that with. What do you mean? Like, as a man, yeah. disgusting. Why are we? Why is he getting this pass? Like, why are you done? Why am I forcing? I don't think he you? gets a pass because I will still condemn him for his you actions. Know. He's still a nonce, and I will still condemn him for his actions. And I've read a lot about it as well. I've read like two. I've read one biography and one autobiography, <laughs> and watched so many documentaries about it because I want it to not be true. But there's too much fucking evidence. There's just too much fucking evidence. He's so why can't we nonce. listen to Michael Jackson, but we can't listen to R. Kelly? Because I can let go of R. Kelly. You can't. You, do you, know, you hear what you're saying? Mm. R. Kelly's music is iconic. It is iconic. As but for me, I would say, I'm happy to let go of R. Kelly. This isn't like who's a like very new, unrelevant artist. Mm. It's not like them who mm. can let go of the music. Mm. Like to let go of R. Kelly's music is actually a force. Yeah, because his music it, is great. It is great, but for me, it's like for me, More I listen- grew up. Like with videos and CDs and tapes, I had tapes of Michael Jackson, and I I had a life size cut out version of Michael Jackson in my room as a child. <laughs> yeah. Where did you steal that from the cinema? Um, I think my mum stole it from yeah, probably from the cinema or something like that. But yeah, I don't think that like in that scenario, I'm like, yeah, okay, like I'm trying to think like R. Kelly songs. He's got some good songs. But there's nothing there for me that I can be like, oh, I'm not gonna, like, I, I wanna listen to that right now. You've got an R. Kelly song on for you right now. Like, I believe I can fly, you've I got. Believe but I I'm not gonna fly. listen to that. I'm not gonna listen to Woo! that. I will also, I will I always, I, I will always listen to a Michael Jackson ballad over that. Are we, we can't believe we can fly anymore. I forgot about that song. Mm-hmm. That is a mass, that and is Space Jam. Yeah, tainted it, isn't it? That's another great throwback, Space Jam. You know they say, yeah, creative people are always different. Mm-hmm. Why would you accept he's a bit different? Are you being fucking serious? You're baiting me now. You're baiting me now to piss me off. I can just see it. <laughs> Pissing me off. Let's go back to my Why theme. can't we separate the man from the musician with R. Kelly, but we can you separate... You can. But we can separate I'm just the not. man... From the musician. No, 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 no. All hell, Michael Jackson. You can. Jesus. I'm not. In human form, cannot do us no wrong. I never said that, though. I said he is fucking disgusting as a man. But as a musician, I love Michael Jackson. And with R. Kelly, he's fucking disgusting as a man. But as a musician, he's all right. No. He's He's just not for me. You do what you want to do over there because you love to go and try and be the devil's advocate and be on the side of the abusers. Not for me. I just know, yeah, in 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 an alternative universe. Mm. Alternative? Both work. Okay. In an alternative universe Mm -hmm. where he's not guilty Mm -hmm. and he hasn't done these things, we would be praising his music. He is still praised. He's still got fans. We would be talking about his music. He was praised for his whole 30-year-long career when he was openly fucking nonce in Aaliyah. Everyone was up his arsehole, including all the girls he was nonce in. So he 100% was praised. He 100% is still praised. But I'm just saying that I that's not a hill I'm going to die on. I can, and also, whether people want to say, oh, men should be forgiven and all this stuff, cool. Yeah. But I feel exactly the same about Chris Brown. I like... What's Chris s- Brown done? Don't beat the shit out of Rihanna. Oh, yeah, and yeah, 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 okay, it was one time or whatever. But in my opinion, I'm like, Meh, I've never really gotten over that. And I get it. That's not... I don't mind if you feel differently about that. For example, I one of my favourites, I love that song, Fine China, by Chris Brown. I'm being honest. Yeah, I love that song. And there are times where I can separate the man from the music, but I'm always looking at him a bit like, mm. Mm. I am. And the thing is with R. Kelly, I'm not saying, 
never speak about R. Kelly again. R. Kelly's awful, like I said. No, we musician, are that. Musician, we are that. musician wise, he's a good musician. I just don't feel the need to keep paying him royalties because he's still alive. And I don't, and P. Diddy, same thing. P. Diddy, like, I'm not going to lie to you. And anyway, P. Diddy's a shit rapper, so he doesn't even count. Good producer, shit rapper. But even then, I'm not going to continue paying royalties to someone that I think is disgusting. Mm. Like, I think they're awful people. And, but then again, so are so many artists and musicians and just general people. But I'm just saying I'm more able to, rightly or wrongly, this is my thoughts, you can be completely different, but I'm more able to separate the man from the music when it comes to Michael Jackson. And that's not to say that I, I still condemn him for his actions, which are abhorrent. Do you get what I mean? Like, disgusting. But I will still listen to Michael Jackson music. Chris Brown, I can go without. P Diddy, I can definitely go without. R Kelly, I can go without. Similarly, even like with Drake, with all of these rumours that have come out of Drake, do you know how empty my playlist will be without Drake? You know how furious I was when that happened? I was like, you fucking joking me? So is Drake a pedophile? I've been a super fan <laughs> for so many years. I thought that was all black baited. I don't know. They've not really, they did bring out some evidence. Where about, the hell is Drake? That's what I'm saying. Where is he? He, do you know, but the level of embarrassment this guy's had to put up with, and I love Drake, and I actually was like, on his side even during the beef I think he held it down so well but till he didn't no but then what happened was is he said you can't even release songs that people dance to and they're not like us and I can't stop hearing the song and that's got to be now, the best song that's come now, out this year it was biggest song you got is that, actually, is that official it. one I'm, no it's not official I'm that not has got to be the biggest maker. song that's come out this year mm -hmm. And, and like and I, can't I think, see anything I it. think what solidified it was it was a really good song. It was really good, and then there was that concert that Kendrick did, oh, and with all of those thousands of people days. and the reload, they reloaded like four times. Then the music video, and everyone's going A minor. Wait, wait, and they pulled up four or five times. Mm -hmm. That happened. Mm -hmm. Then they did a music video. Mm -hmm. Did you see the music yeah. video? Yeah. Sick video. Yeah. Yeah, he got obliterated. I've never he seen... He I've not seen anyone take an L that big in a rap while. battle for a while. Yeah. That seems so... I can't sing, sing one part of any of Drake's tracks that he put out against him. No, but they were good. They were good. Just give me one line. Uh, one line, he said... He said something. He did a response to the A minor song. And it was clever, actually. Now give me one line from Kendrick. Um, hit a note, it's probably A minor. That's what I'm saying. Is this yeah, he so one-sided? He did. Um, I don't think it was one-sided. And, and, and I don't before, think this it was one started, before this all started, before this all started, I would have thought Drake would have smoked him. Mm. I don't think it was one-sided. I think he held his beef down. He held it down, and I think he very much. I actually preferred how he responded because he responded. Like literally to the, if you followed it chronologically, he responded literally bar by bar. And I pref I actually. Yeah, but I saw. I like Drake in I it. See, so. yeah, um, I see some rap, what would you call people like, are very passionate about this. Rap beef. Mm. What, what would you call them? I don't know. Help me out, Miss Intelligence. Well, I don't think there's an official term for people who are All passionate right. about rap battles. All right, but those people, mm. yeah, the passionate ones, mm. were saying that was the worst thing you could do. Is like, say you break down. Yeah, say you lyrics. do a rap about me, mm. and I in my rap I'm responding or like, no, that didn't happen. This is what happened. Like that's apparently the worst thing to do. I didn't mean about like denying that because Kendrick did that too. He said he meant line for line. I meant what I meant line. is that he like was clever with his wordplay of how he did line for mm. line. So he like, I think that was clever. Anyway, this has been spoken of to death. This Cro Drake thing. Pro I'm oh, just saying, oh, by us, you mean? You mean by everyone else? I just mean by podcasters. Really? Well, at the time, anything. I think it was. Maybe this is an, a fresh take because it's a couple of months later. But the, the take, the, the takeaway from this is what the fuck has happened to Drake afterwards. He, you know, regardless of whether you think he lost or he won. He lost. What happened after that with the concerts, with the music video, with the literally it being everywhere that has obliterated his career. And you know what's mad is that Drake is probably one of the only artists bar... Taylor Swift, who obviously I can't stand. Um, 
but he's one of the only artists of the last 10, 15 years who's actually been consistently an artist. Like think name, think of anyone else who's actually released albums pretty much every year, like had hits every year for the last 10, 15 years. Even Kendrick, love Kendrick. He's not been as consistent. Mm. Jay-Z's not relevant no more. Yes, why is there only old people? Well, that's what I'm saying is that like, I'm trying to think of someone that's been around from then, oh. but is still being consistent till now and relevant. And, mm. you know, people are going to have haters. People even like people have always hated Drake. Do you get J. what Cole. I mean? J. Cole, even then, like I again, I love J. Cole, but has he been as relevant as J. Drake? No, but he's been as consistent. Mm. No? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, actually. I thought he has. Like, every time I buy a Drake album, or I didn't buy albums, but mm. anytime there's a Drake album, there's normally Record. a J. Cole album not too far off in there. I'm no, I don't out. think he's been as, the work rate's not been as high. Yeah, Drake's done better albums, I'm not going to lie. And just, like, being consistent. And if, if he's not on albums, he's on features. Do you get what I mean? Like, I can't think of many artists other than Taylor Swift, completely different genre, who has been as like, Why successful. Why Taylor Slip Swift? I don't want, don't want to do this, but I listen to a lot of like other podcasts and like other things like this. And um, she is like the highest selling artist pretty much of all time. She's mm. outsold. I think it's like records, like weeks at number one. Mm. She has outsold Elvis by like 30,000. She is literally, she's been number one for like weeks. I couldn't name you if I can tell you a Swift song. I was saying an Elvis in this day and age shouldn't no, no, no. really be. You know, but it is. It is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Outside I'm saying she's outside records. every single. No, but I don't think it's records. I think it's like weeks at this or. Do you get what I mean? But on every single chart, mm. I swear to you, if we looked it up now, at every single chart, Taylor Swift would be at the top. Albums, songs, weeks at number one, uh, concerts, money. Like she is. Where, and the thing is, what I find is so crazy about it is like sphere, uh, spheres of. Uh, like relevancy because mm. like I could not name you a single Taylor Swift song other than her first song like that I knew, knew of Shake It Off no um, oh okay yeah two songs then do you get what I mean like I but to her fans like they go hard for her what happened to that Boom Boom girl Boom Boom it's all about the bass Megan Trainor is she still about yeah I think so she's still relevant I don't know did that annoy you? It's not annoying. It's just an irrelevant point. That's how we bounce, Cairo. We just <laughs> bounce. We bounce. Okay. Otherwise, we end up You're talking about <laughs> politics for 20 minutes. We bounce. Yeah. But don't even that's mad that she's like the biggest. She's so famous and so like she and she's so like she could make a difference in the landscape and say one thing. Mm. Like they were saying to her the other day, why haven't you come out and said which political party you're supporting? Because they're trying to say that actually will change the entire landscape in America. Mm. That's crazy. And she, I just think she's a cunt. But Who? Am I allowed to say that? You are, but you, thanks for letting them see your true colours. I, I just think she is. She annoys me. Around, throwing the I just think if it's like someone like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of another, let's say like Dua Lipa. What about Ke um, Kanye West? Again, would you say he's consistently relevant? He's always Well, relevant. he's very relevant. Have you heard his new album? Terrible. I haven't <laughs> Awful. Heard it. I haven't listened for it. And everyone's I've like, seen... oh, he's on drugs. It's like you can fucking tell. <laughs> I've seen I've seen I've seen the, the I've seen the responses to the album and I've listened to one song. Have you seen that thing which is all about um Kanye's uh what's your favourite Kanye moment? No, but they he's got are so many. So funny. Can I just show you this thread quickly? <laughs> you ready? There's lots of them, so. Yeah, I'm going to be showing them on the screen. <laughs> Favourite Kanye moment. Just turn the screen so I can see. <laughs> that wasn't Kanye. <laughs> it was. That's Kanye and Kim. That is not Kanye it and Kim. It is. <laughs> that was not Kanye and Kim. No way that was Kanye and Kim. <laughs> Move on anyway. That was not Kanye and Kim. I've Why seen do you not that. Think that? Cause I've seen that clip and it was never like. Oh, okay, well, I don't know then, but that's on there. Let's break one last window before we get out of here. I caught this guy with Kim. Good night. <laughs> it's a menace. Kanye West, yay. Steam player. 
Go Thanks. into the videos, they're funny. Yeah. I don't get that one. When he posted this after Queen Elizabeth's death, <laughs> London, I know how you all feel. I lost my queen too. <laughs> Just a joke. Jewish, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I get lost in that. You shouldn't be showing me Kanye West moments. I sit there gotcha. And go, gotcha. <laughs> He's a draw. So that's typically how long we've gone for. But I didn't but get to finish my nostalgia theme because you were taking us off topic. How? Go on, where do you want to go? Okay, I want to go back somewhere. Go I'm going to go back, way back. I feel like you've really planned this in your I head. haven't planned it, but I've got a, I've got a few things I want to say. Go on. Who remembers Averex? Yeah. That was it. That was it. That was where it. would you get your Averex from? <laughs> um, we used to have to go like North London. Tepper's Bush? Yeah, I think so. To the market. I used to have like... a. A, a leather, red leather Averex jacket. Red leather, leather, leather. Yeah. And you actually was... had one? Yeah. I didn't have one. Yeah. And I also what used to mine? have... I had a... Um, I never had an Averex jacket. Only a select few in my school did. And what were those Legends. Nikes that used to be like wavy and then used to have the zip? Nah, Harachis. Those wasn't Harachis. No, Harachis were around. No, Harachis was a big thing. It's um, mad how that came back as well. I remember going to Shepherd's Bush Market. What was mm. it called? Uh, it was actually called something. Which one? But, um, and there was a couple of stalls and a shop in there. And that's where you'd go to get your hats mm -hmm. and oh, tracksuits. You used to have the hard brim hats, in it? Yes. And you used to match them to your shoelaces. <laughs> no, no, no. I never used to match them to my shoelaces. But I, I remember buying an academics, academics. tracksuit. Yeah. Two of them. I had one black velour one mm -hmm. and one like grey. Velour. velour, you had velour. velour. <laughs> I had a velour Ew. black academics tracksuit. That probably is disgusting, but at the time it was the shit. But that's the same way you just said velour tracksuits for girls, which have totally come back now. They're like so fashionable now is um juicy couture tracksuits. Yeah, they need to drop that. Yeah, they need to. They need to leave that one in so the So you part. don't, oh, sorry. Leave that in you nostalgia. don't think that I could get a juicy If couture. you ever turned up to me in a juicy velour tracksuit, I don't know, I'd rip the shit out of you all day until, really? until you took it off. Why? I don't know. You, my girl, in a juicy tracksuit. What's wrong with that? Nah. I think I'd do it quite good in a juicy tracksuit. I'm not saying picture. you would or wouldn't. As I said, my favourite aspect about you is your bum. Oh, shut up. But I don't want to see you wearing a juicy tracksuit. Okay. I did used to have, and again, I feel ashamed because of everything that's come out about him, but I did used to have a Sean John, which is P. Diddy's brand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah Sean yeah. John, I used to have a, a couple of them. Bon Bleu, if anyone remembers Bon Bleu. Um, and Time Is Money. That no. was more of a London thing, though. No. Time Is Money. Do you remember a Peckham hat? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember, this is a bit later, so it's not quite, oh. Memory cards, boy. Done. Finished. Is that all of your memory cards you've got? Yeah. So then it's not finished. Huh? The episode's not done. Not closed it. Uh, if you did let me finish when I said let's finish, sorry, sorry. it would have been perfect. But you just couldn't shut up. And you just wanted sorry. to keep... Rah, 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 rah. Sorry. So now Can't you delete something? Delete what? That's one full video. Yeah, but there's not anything on there other thing uh, anything else on there okay. I, I can't delete weird. stuff to continue filming oh no it's a bit dead to me it's just how it goes sometimes no it's not you gotta work it out are you sure there's not like a two minute thing you can record thank you for <laughs> is that <laughs> recording the audio is oh yeah it'd just be a black that's how it's meant to be anyway I'd prefer it like this what just audio format well let's do the outro okay well, anyway, the last thing I wanted to talk no, about. No, you're done. There's no <laughs> the last more thing talking. I wanted to talk we're about. Done. No, we're not. Was the black Walkers crisps, and that was it. No, you've been dying to say that. I'm <laughs> the sorry. barbecue crisps. No one remembers the black Walkers crisps. They do. They Shout don't. out to the black crisp people. Don't remember. People, thank you for watching the episode. Maybe you could make animations. Of Shut us. up. Yeah, but you could make us Shut animated. Shut up, please. <laughs> it's actually a good idea. Thank you for watching the episode. Sorry you can't see our beautiful faces right now, but we are here to say. Thank you. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. 
all the great stuff because you know it does great stuff for the channel. I've been your boy Bailey. I still have more things to say. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm Kyra. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. <laughs>